Hey guys, this is Hydro from Max Trade, and in this video, I'm going to be going over a weekly recap and then um, also go over the tickers that look best for next week. So we'll start off with uh, SPY and QQQ. So with SPY, um, we're still clearly in a downtrend, right? Every single time we touch this line, we ended up rejecting. And uh, yeah, this downtrend has been forming since the start of 2022 and we rejected it one two three four five times so far and now this is going to be the sixth time so um yeah we'll see if we're able to break out but um there should definitely be or this is definitely a, a key resistance level and um yeah we'll see how we <clears throat> we'll see how we act uh, next week um but yeah last week was definitely very bullish cpi looked good and um yeah we just were a little bit extended but um I think we could use some consolidation for like maybe Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday break out. Um, but yeah, right now, um, right now everything looks good here. Um, but yeah, we just have to watch out. We just have to wait and see if we can take out this uh, long-term resistance line. So for QQQ, um, pretty much the same thing. Um, again, we have a downtrend that has started since 2022 and um this one still has a little bit more room so that it can get to like 284 285 level and then that's where it should see some uh, major resistance um but yeah again qqq acting pretty well again um along with the spy last week had a really nice rally um and yeah clearly making higher lows here right um so yeah we bottomed in uh, october and uh, yeah we didn't we didn't get we didn't um get below this level we were able to hold it and that's a good sign and potentially there's a head and uh, inverse head and shoulders forming or head and shoulders forming so this is one of the shoulders this is the head and this is the other shoulder so yeah potentially we could be bottoming here but again we have to see if we can take out this uh, long-term uh, downtrend line um, but yeah if we if we are able to take it out then I, I would say that we could be potentially starting a new uptrend and um, could be a new bull market and uh, if that's the case there should be many opportunities coming up in the next couple weeks um so yeah next we'll look at some individual names um we'll go through tesla first so a bunch of volume on tesla right this is what capitulation volume looks like and that could be happening for tesla here um so tesla has been basing out for last two weeks so every time it gets to this 124 and 125 level it ends up rejecting but um yeah it's holding up pretty well but if we can take out this 124 level then i think there's a very good chance that we could potentially squeeze and make a pretty big move um pretty big move higher and if we do move up then i would say first the uh, resistance line would be um, around the 157 or 160 psychological level and then we can make a move back all the way up to 182 so this is a really good trade in terms of risk reward uh, you could use a tight stop and uh, if this trade works out then you, there's a uh, a big or a big reward because uh, it could potentially squeeze the shorts here and make a nice move so um, yeah this is one name that I've been looking at um, <clears throat> next up we'll go through Nvidia so NVIDIA is, has been acting really nice. So this one actually broke the downtrend line a while ago, right? In November last year. And it's been, yeah, it's been building out pretty nicely. <clears throat> we were trying to build an uptrend here, but it failed. And then it pulled back to this key support level. And now we're rallying pretty hard again. So now what we want to see if we can retake this 173 level and then consolidate for a little bit and then break out again. So we tried to do that last time. Uh, we were consolidating right under the 173 level. Everything looked good. We tried to break out, but it failed. So we want to see something similar again. We want to get to 173, consolidate, make a bull flag, and then break out. And um, yeah, if we're able to do that, next uh, uh, next uh, target should be 193. But yeah, right now Nvidia is looking pretty strong, and uh, yeah, you just want to you want to wait for some consolidation first before um, touching it. Next up, we'll go through <coughs> MELI. So this stock has been uh, acting really strong last week. Notice the volume, right? This is uh, this is much higher volume than the previous bars, and this is a sign that institutions could be loading up into this stock. Um, 
and um, yeah it's been it's been breaking this uh, short term downtrend here and we were able to get a nice squeeze so now we want to wait for some consolidation and then uh, wait for some bull flag to form and then this could make another leg up higher um, yeah this one <clears throat> has a is forming a or yeah this one is in a long base um, yeah the base started all the way in 2022 right so if this one uh, can consolidate and then break out there's a potential for it to make a pretty big move since it's been consolidating for almost the entire year so yeah this one's been acting pretty well you just want to wait for some consolidation and then take this trade um all right next one we'll go through aehr uh, so this is one of the strongest stocks in the market right um this one didn't even have much of a bear market. It had a little bear market um, starting 2022 and then it ended really quick uh, compared to other stocks. Um, so it bottomed out in like uh, May, uh, June or May, July time. And then ever since then, it's just been on a monster run, right? This stock uh, started out at $7 and now it's at, it hit $30, so 321% gain um, in a relatively short period of time so this one's been yeah this one's been acting really well and um yeah <clears throat> recently just recently last week it had a really nice uh, volume surge so again this is a sign that institutions start loading up into the stock and um yeah all the way from 17 it gapped up to uh to 21 and then it went all the way up to 30 with pretty much no pause right three strong updates really nice volume and then it's consolidating on lower volume um, two days there which is a good sign um, you always want to see stocks going up on higher volume and then um, consolidating or pulling back on lower volume which is exactly what this stock is doing and um, yeah on Friday it tried to break up but um, I would say it needs more time since it's made a really big move right so you want to wait um, for it to consolidate a little bit more tighten up and then this will be a A plus trade in my opinion and uh, yeah, this is one of the very few stocks that it's at all time high. So this is, um, yeah, a stock that you definitely want to be paying attention to. And yeah, we did take out uh, previous all time highs back in uh, 20, 2021, which is a good sign. So this one, yeah, definitely has a lot of potential and um, one that you want to keep your eye on. Again, you just want to wait for some consolidation, let it tighten up and then um, take a long trade on this one. Um, next up, we'll go through pins. So this stock was a big winner in 2020, 2021. And then, um, yeah, all, all year basically, um, started 2022. We had a pullback and then for almost like 10 months, we've been building a really nice base here. So this one has been showing relative strength as most, uh, as most growth stocks were going down. This one was instead going sideways and consolidating and forming a really long base, right? So that's that's a positive and that's something that you want to see when you're um, when we're coming off a bear market and going into a bull market, you want to find the stocks that are holding up the best. And this one has definitely been doing that. Um, so yeah, right now it's been consolidating a lot. It's been very choppy and it's hard to trade, but right now we're currently under this key um, 27 level. And uh, yeah, we made a nice move last week and uh, now we have two consolidation bars and this one looks uh, ready to go um so it formed a very small bull flag but that's all it needs to make a another leg up higher so this is one that i'm watching currently and i think it can be ready uh to trade next week or to take a trade on for next week and uh yeah overall this looks uh, pretty good next one is uh ATS buy. So this one um, has also been showing a lot of relative strength. This one bottomed all the way back in uh, June, July time, and uh, since then it's built a very it's it's made made a very very strong uh, uptrend here, and it pulled back. This was basically one uh, one big uh, bull flag, and then it broke out again, and then consolidating consolidated pulled back and then made another leg up higher then it got rejected at this 140 level 
and then uh, again another bull flag and now it's trying to break out again um, yeah we broke the short-term downtrend and now we're flagging again and we can see um, yeah similar to pins it's a three-day flag but that's all it needs and um, yeah we'll see if we can take this uh, 135 level out or yeah it's pretty much at 135 right now but um, yeah we'll see if we, if, if we can get follow through and make a move to 140 and this one also just like pins looks uh, ready to take uh, a trade on um, this week uh, maybe one or two more consolidation days and then it can take off um, but yeah this one is another one that I've been watching closely and then uh, yeah, we'll go to a China stock the China names have been incredibly strong right um, really nice volume here um, consolidating pretty nice uh, forming a nice flag here so this one um, yeah very nice breakout very nice volume sign that institutions are loading up um, and now uh, it, it, yeah it has it had two consolidation days and then on Friday it tried to break out but um, it wasn't a successful breakout it closed uh, basically where it opened, but you want you t typically on breakout days you want to see strong closes. So if it closed um, uh, in the fourteen point five range, that would have been um, a, a very strong buy signal. But right now, um, it looks like it needs more consolidation. Again, it made a very big move, so very likely that this needs more time to consolidate its gains and um, um, let the moving averages catch up. So again, you want to wait for this to consolidate a bit more and then um, wait for a better bull flag to form out and then this would be an A plus trade. Um, yeah, this one has all the characteristics of a big winner, really big volume, really nice price action so far. Um, yeah, everything looks good here. And then last one, MSTR. So this is uh, a Bitcoin name, right? Um, this one bottomed all the way back in May time and it's been basically just building out this uh, uh, this triangle for the last uh, couple months and um, yeah short-term down, uh, downtrend started all the way back in April and uh, yeah rejected one two and two times so far and then currently we are trying to break out and so far it's been successful but we'll see um, what happens right uh, and off the lows it already made a 67% move which is uh, pretty crazy right um, so yeah, you want to wait for this one to consolidate. Um, there's some resistance around or support around the 207 level, so you want to see that level hold, and um, that could be a buy off that support level or 209, 207, anywhere around the area it could be a buy. And then as long as 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 it holds that level and consolidates above it, then this could be um, yeah this this could be a big winner and run up to 285. No other resistance. Um, no real yeah no real major resistance to 285 level maybe some at 265 but um yeah this one is another good risk reward trade like tesla um but yeah that's pretty much it for this week um yeah thank you guys for tuning in